Hi, I'm going to give a quick overview of the latest features of Flight Map. Uh, it's come a long way since the last video. Uh, I've already got a uh, flight simulator going here and I'm uh, flying along somewhere above uh, Pennsylvania or something like that. So uh, go ahead and launch Flight Map and show you some of the new stuff. So right from the outset, I've added a new launch page, so I've cleaned it up, made it a little snazzier looking. Uh, all the same features though, choose your, your airplane that's going to your tracking visual aid. I'll choose a Cessna here. Um, the enter the server and still have the discover button and I've uh, just discovered my server. And to launch, you hit the launch button. There's two of them you can hit. And I'll go ahead and hit the big red one. And flight map will launch. And uh, as uh, Google Maps clears up and gets sharper, you can see I'm tracking. Um, one of the new features of the UI is I've added a more kind of glass cockpit feel. Um, lots of different options can be shown at the bottom of it. And uh, really the app follows like three modes. Uh, there was the original track mode, which just follows you along as you're flying like I'm in right now. Uh, there's the plan mode, which when in plan mode, this is where you build like kind of ad hoc flight plans. Um, they're not tied to Flight Simulator at all, um, but they're just flight plans that you know you can follow along. Uh, if I wanted to add one, I was you know go up to New York here, it's long press, and uh, it adds a waypoint, and then it'll come back down to Staten Island, and then over to Allentown, and, and you can toggle back and forth between them. And if I want to remove a uh, waypoint, I just click it, and that removes the waypoint. And then you can see the toggling back and forth. Uh, I do have the ability to show all the airports in the area. If I uh, wanted to so let's say let's remove that guy, and then we'll add that airport as a waypoint. Now it's been switched over, and uh, I can switch back into track mode. And uh, there I am. Now I've overlaid the compass on top of the uh, map, which makes it really easy to see bearing information. So uh, looking at this, I can tell that I need to tune my autopilot right now to you know around 70 degrees in order to uh, in order to go that bearing. Um, so let's see, and you can toggle that compass on and off. Um, and I can toggle between the waypoints just like before. Now one of the new features, um, oh and just like in the previous version, you can toggle the map views. Uh, let's see, go ahead and do satellite and uh, then you have the uh, height, uh, height map view or terrain view. Uh, one of the new features I've added is if you have a flight plan already enabled within Flight Simulator, uh, I can plot the next the next uh, waypoint on the map. So in this case, I've already got a flight plan uh, going from Dallas to uh, Boston Logan, and I'm coming up on a uh, on a waypoint here, and I'm not quite not quite on track to it. So it looks like I need to tune to about 170 degrees. So we'll go over here to my autopilot and tune to 170, 175-ish or so. Uh, usually as the plane turns, it, uh, it changes a little bit. But, oh, it just switched to the next waypoint, got close enough. So I need to uh, track to about uh, 95 degrees. And we'll go ahead and tune in 95. And it'll go ahead and turn. Now, with the taking out the um, the, the direction indicator, uh, I went ahead and added a new indicator to the group, uh, the vertical speed, which I thought would be very helpful. Um, and I've uh, added uh, general aircraft uh, airspeed indicator along with the uh, the higher speed airspeed indicator. Uh, the general aircraft goes to about uh, 250 knots, uh, whereas the uh, high speed indicator goes to about 500 knots. Um, 
cleaned up the gauges and everything, made them look nice. I'll go ahead and show you what the uh, vertical speed indicator looks like. I'll change my altitude down to 6,000 feet. And my vertical speed is supposed to be about seven, 700 feet a minute. And uh, that's what I'm seeing on the vertical speed indicator. And uh, you can see the uh, altimeter is dropping. So that's pretty much, uh, oh, there's one other feature left. Uh, I've added an auto zoom feature. Uh, in this case, I'm already zoomed into it, but um, basically at certain speed intervals, uh, I can change the map view uh, for you to you know, ideal zoom levels. Um, ideal the ones that I've, I've decided on. I'll probably make that toggleable in the future, but that's the uh, current state of flight map. It's, Coming along pretty darn good, I think, and uh, hopefully be releasing it soon. Thanks for watching.